Okay, turning in now to the Tanglewood Festival of Lights. This is a yearly uh, trip for us. We've been doing this since our boys were little. And you are greeted with a lot of color right now. Going into Tanglewood Park here in Clemens, North Carolina. Just west of Winston-Salem. It's very colorful. Green. Very colorful. I always like these arches right here. As y'all have guessed, probably just watching our stuff this year, we, we love uh, lights. We do, yeah. Fall and Christmas is probably a very fun time for us because we're always out and about doing it stuff. It really is. Um, we had a little bit of a lull in early November, but yeah, for us, probably my favorite time of the year is October through December. Uh, I love this time of year. So we are redoing this video this year. Why? Well, the lights just didn't look too Yeah, because our one last year was terrible, <laughs> just to put it bluntly. Uh, last year we had a dash cam uh, mounted, and which does really good during the day, but at night time, not so much. The lights looked terrible. They were grainy, uh, blurry. So we now have our main camera mounted to the dash tonight. Now this little thing we're doing here, this is actually before you pay to get into Tanglewood. This is the way they get the traffic off the highway. You used to would sit out on the highway for an hour, hour and a half, and traffic was just backed up for hours. Mm -hmm. So then they, they divert you through this field, and we have to circle all the way around it. And you can sit here for 30 or 45 minutes too, but at least we're not on the main highway. If you can, go slow by that candle thing. I'm gonna get a picture of that. That's pretty if you don't mind. I sure will. We got one car behind us though, so. I might can actually pull off. It looks like somebody else has. Okay, that'd be perfect. So let me try that. I guess they do it for that reason. I'm sure they do. We're on a dirt road now, so pardon the shakiness of the video. Out there, you got that tree, and if you can see the line of traffic over behind it, that's where we have to go. We got to circle all the way around this field. Also, we want to uh, mention, uh, kind of give a shout out to some Facebook uh, friends of ours and also a subscriber. Uh, we just had supper um, with one of our subscribers. Got to meet him for the first time tonight. We have a yearly tradition when we come down here to Tanglewood. We eat at the Mi Pueblo Mexican Restaurant in Clemens. North Carolina have been doing that for 20 plus years now and so uh, one of our subscribers uh, Tony Lashman he's from Winston-Salem and he met up with us tonight we were hoping to meet his wife she was not feeling well uh, so we want to remember her in prayer and ask y'all to do the same she's not been feeling well lately so uh, but we did get to meet him we're looking forward to getting back with him and meeting her and um, so we had a good time tonight. We had a real good time, and they were very thoughtful and even brought us a, a really nice Christmas gift. Yeah, we too. wasn't expecting that. Yeah, um, so sweet. Yeah, brought us a little, it was like a little sled, wooden sl sled with our names on it. Yeah. And, you know, just very, very thoughtful. Very thoughtful, very nice. Yeah, I hope we can meet up with them again. Yeah, we, we will definitely do that. Mm -hmm. And he's going to um, look into something. Winston-Salem is famous for the B&G brand. It's called B&G Fried Pies. I used to get those as a little boy when I would go with my dad. My dad used to make deliveries down east of Greensboro near Burlington. And we would always stop and get those B&G pies. You can't find them hardly anywhere now, but they still do make them. They sell them in some convenience stores, but you can't get them outside of Winston-Salem area or Kernersville area. So he's going to uh, look into getting me a box of those. I'm, of course, paying for them. But, um, yeah, just enjoyed, enjoyed our time tonight with uh, eating with him. Wish we could have met his wife as well. Uh, Hopefully Ginger same. is her name, so mm -hmm. you know, say a prayer for her, y'all, that she'll feel better. But, um, <clears throat> just kind of, we're on the back side of the loop now. Wait, we still haven't actually paid to get in yet. Uh. Okay, public service announcement this red and white sign on our right. Be sure to stop by the Holiday Gift Shop located at the Red Barn that's about halfway through the park. You do want to stop there. Um, they got a lot of neat locally made crafts, uh, Candy. candies, breads, All uh, sorts of fudge. Stuff. Last year we got some breads, didn't we? I got like an orange 
and I got a cranberry a, bread or something like a that. Pump, a chocolate chip pumpkin. It was a mini loaf. It was yeah, really mini loaf. That was that yeah. was it. But you can uh, get bigger ones too. All kinds of neat little stuff in mm -hmm. there. So uh, definitely want to make it a point to get her early enough to stop at the Red Barn gift shop. Now we still have not actually paid and entered in the park yet. We are just now completing the loop, and that took us um, 40 minutes. We were in that uh, loop for 40 minutes. So we're just now getting back onto the main road and getting ready to pay. Another public service announcement. If you want to listen to Christmas music as you're coming through here, you can put your radio on, what did it say, 99.5? I think it was. Uh, we got our own CDs, but just to let you know that, um, you can do that. The price this year has gone up. It, I think it was $15 last year. Um, I'm looking at the sign now. It's $20 for a car. If you pay cash, if you pay credit card, it's $23. That's a change from last year as well. Commercial, I guess that means... Like a church bus, maybe? Well, no, the buses are the oh. third category. Uh, commercial's 45 cash, whatever commercial means. Hmm. 48 credit debit, and then motor coaches and buses, like a church group, 115 and 118. So, and they, it says they accept checks, too. I'm surprised wow. by that. But... Anyway, I didn't want to give them three extra dollars this year, so we're bringing cash. So, anyway, we're getting ready to enter in. Now, what a lot of people typically do is kill their headlights once they get uh, through the area where you pay, so we're going to do that too. You don't really need your headlights because there's enough other cars around you, uh, even then, just them hitting their brakes and then the lights of the... I was going to say, then the lights yeah. themselves, even if you just put your park lights on. Yeah, you can ride with your parking lights on, but... Um, you're looking off to the right now at the field that we just had to circle around where you see all those clear lights and the happy holidays thing. So we're still probably another five to seven minutes from getting up to the gate where you pay. Once you pay, it goes a little quicker after that. But you can, yeah, it just gets down, moves out on one lane and everybody's just going then. Yeah, but you can uh, you can wait here a while on a week, weekend night, Friday or Saturday nights are really uh, popular. So if you live locally, and you know, well, if you live locally, you already know this. You don't need me to tell you, but um, if you can go through the week, it'd be better. But we always come weekends. So okay, slowly making our way to the gate. A lot of people here tonight. Yes. Yeah. Okay, almost up there. Says speed limits 25 park wide. You, you're not going to go 25 in here. And you don't want to. I guess that's for uh, other times of the year. Yeah. Looks like they have a I'm swimming sure. pool, paddle boats. Right, we're going to pay. That squeaking is my window. It just started doing that tonight. Every time I roll it down and put it up. Sorry about that. <laughs> this is the first time it's ever done that. I know. Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Have a good one. You too. All right, we are in, and as you see, the traffic really does kind of thin out after that. So now we're going through an area of snowflakes. We're getting ready to. Are you going to put the park lights on? Oh, yes, let me do that. There we go. Folks, it is snowing. In fact, they're saying we might get a little bit next week. Yeah, it's supposed to get really, really yeah, cold. Yeah, we're supposed to have highs in the 20s this time next week and lows in the upper single digits. So bring it on. I love it. If there's snow, it's okay. Well, yeah, it, yeah. Otherwise, 70 degree weather is kind of hard on snow. <clears throat> I mean, if it's going to be that cold and it snows, it's okay. But if it's just cold, it's just kind of a miserable. Yeah. So you really hurt when cold, it's cold weather? My bones kind of do. I'm, getting I'm seven and a half years older than she is, and I still don't have any problems with it. I actually have a steel plate in my arm where I broke it on Christmas Day of 2000. Um, I have a steel plate in my arm, and I was told that during cold weather it would bother me. I, I, it's not ever affected me at all yet. I mean, it may soon, but so far, so good. It's a blessing. Yes, it is. God's been good to me, mm -hmm. better than I deserve. Well, me too. I mean, um, yeah. I was definitely. diagnosed with stage four non-Hodgkin's lymphoma when I was 28 years old. Uh, you know, when you're 
that's an advanced stage. And 25 years later, I'm cancer free. God has been good. Absolutely. Yeah, because Dylan was, what, 18 months? Tyler yes. was just a couple months old. Yeah, he found was just out. a couple months old. Um, it was a bad time, but. Well, look, we can look back on it and be thankful. Absolutely. I feel good. I feel better now than I did, did then. Uh, we still get to go on hikes. Yep, that's do true. Things. Do things that we want to do. Alright, coming out of the snowflakes now. Got a little squirrel going across a couple of trees there above us. I think this area here is actually where they... <coughs> You can ride horses and stuff, ain't it? Can you? I think you can. I think you can even bring your own. Yeah, this is a park. Um, like it's like a, what is it, a country club sort of? I think something like that, yeah. yeah. Uh, only time we've ever really been in here is at Christmas. And mm -hmm. looked like maybe they were doing tractor rides or carriage yeah, rides. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they got tractors Not that, carriage, but, that uh, pull a wagon behind Yeah, them. like a hay wagon or yeah. something. I it's think little, you park over here. And it's right a little chilly for that. It's not brutally cold tonight, but it's probably dropped into the, I'm going to say upper 30s maybe. Oh, yeah, I'm sure, probably. It was starting to get cold when we come out of the restaurant. So, mm -hmm. got a milk cow over here. In the barn. Uh, yeah. Chicken house. Windmill, corn stalks. Pig. Pig. Got a peacock over here to our left. Like the ones we saw there at Sarasota Jungle Gardens. Yeah. Um, those peacocks there were funny now. they uh, Remember they didn't, that one bird that wasn't a peacock? They would, if they didn't want that bird around, they'd, they'd do their tails out and kind of shake, shake at the them. tail out. I've never seen anything <laughs> like that before. It's like, I'm big and bad, back off. <laughs> got a lady over here watering her flowers. Her flowers. So we got some. Southern ladies up here in their dresses. It's like this little tunnel here with the lights of the wreath there at the end. Yeah, the wreath is really pretty. And we've got the candles out there in the field that's coming up. The Tanglewood's a cool place. It is. Like I said, they have stuff, I guess, throughout the year, but we, we never come except for Christmas, so I don't really... Um, like you said, they have, I guess, horseback riding. Yeah, they did. I actually saw a sign that said, Public Horseback Riding Reservations Recommended. So, yeah, I guess you can do that. And a golf. Golf course out here. Yeah, so. they, they got a golf course. Golf is what, now I, I love sports. I've always been kind of, you know, consider myself athletic. I'm not great at anything, but I'm not bad at any sport. I usually pick it up pretty good. I'm pretty good at shooting basketball. I always play baseball. That was probably my best sport. Um, golf is one thing I absolutely, I don't have the time, nor the patience, <laughs> nor the desire. Um, but our oldest son plays. Yeah, he, so he's, he's, he's he likes good. to play golf. But to me, and again, if, if we got any golf fans out there, don't take this personal. Um, I, I feel sorry for you if you get amusement <laughs> playing golf. I really do. It's, and watching it's even worse. But to me, it's just something not right about having to hit a ball two miles to a hole a few inches across. The hole will be a lot bigger. And for uh, those of you who watched our putt-putt video. Uh, well, we don't do, need to talk well, about yeah, that. Yeah, if you haven't, you need to go watch that. So, anyway, that was Well, <laughs> we were in Ormond Beach, Florida, and I knew it would be a long ride home if I beat her. So, <laughs> sometimes you just got to do what you got to do to keep people happy. 
so I let her. Now, how was it the second game? Oh, the second game we ended up tying. Tying, that's right, yeah. First you thought I beat you, then you... then. No, yeah. I thought I had beaten you, but then when I was calculating the score, I had somehow recorded one of the holes wrong, and I, or I, no, I read no, it wrong. No, you read I, it yeah, wrong, I read it yeah. wrong, and uh, we ended up tying that game, but... Which still wasn't good enough, but for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I but I, I handled it well. You did. Yeah, so you definitely go check out that video. What was it called, Pirate's Cove? I, yeah, I'm going to take it down. No, you're not. So, something like that. I don't even remember the name of that place. I, I, I hope it shuts down. Whatever. It terrible, was nice. Terrible place. No, it wasn't. So, <laughs> uh, that that miniature <laughs> golf course did not like me, that's for sure. It's so out there to the right. That's been there for years. That's one of our, or one of my favorite. I like it too, the red and green on it. Yeah. Yeah, very festive looking. So we're going through a little forest here with... Flying uh, reindeer. Flying reindeer, a lot of clear lights. Supposed to be like snow, yeah, I guess. Yeah, got reindeer jumping over the road. We went through the snowflake area. No, but I mean like... since it's This like is snow. freezing rain. Oh yeah, that's what it is. Sweet. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of neat through here. It's almost like... I don't know how to describe it. It is neat though. Yeah, I know what you're saying though. It's like you're I a, feel the word you're trying to say. I just can't think of what they are. Like a, just like a lit up forest kind of. I don't know. Like you're in a dream or something, maybe, or like a fantasy world or something. I don't know. Sometimes I know what I'm thinking, but I don't know how to say it. <clears throat> so let y'all see that a little bit. I like it better with the, uh, the tail lights not on uh, in yeah, front of us. them having so many of the, the lots coming straight down like that. Yeah, I didn't count them last year. Well, I mean, it just looks more full. It does look full. This is kind of neat. Mm -hmm. It may have been here. But... And I don't remember the trees being different colors. What a job this would be. Oh, yeah. I wonder, I'm curious how long it takes them to do the whole park up like <clears> this. <throat> I'm sure it'd take them a long time. I'd, I'd hate the job of taking all this down. So if you have watched us for the last... Um, three months, you know we are obsessed with go, going <coughs> leaf looking in the fall and light looking in the winter. Mm -hmm. so, yep. um, We're going to enjoy the seasons and what they have. Yeah. So don't be alarmed if you don't see much from us in January. We'll try to you know, maybe go out to eat a few times, but there's just not much in January to do besides... There is something very special in January, though. Your birthday. My birthday. So it's my birthday month. We'll just say it that way, and we can celebrate it all month. Oh, that would get expensive. <laughs> you would have to be born right after Christmas, wouldn't you? I know. Uh, <laughs> okay, we're coming up now on a little pond to our left. You can see the mermaid over there. Also to the right, there is a restroom here. Um, the Red Barn, do they have restrooms? I think they got porta. Yeah, yeah, it's down a pathway or something. But they do have restrooms, you know. Yeah, it's the little... Yeah, not like what you would think of a, re a restroom. Yeah. But we're getting ready to go through the bell area now. So we've got our windows down. And we're going to hopefully... Uh, we got our music turned off. Hopefully we're going to be able to hear the bells chiming. We'll see. I don't hear them yet. Do you? Not yet. But it, it, the sign does say... What does it say? It does. It says windows it down to hear the bells. Yep. I'm starting to hear them now. Don't know if the camera will pick them up. But we'll be quiet.
was nice. That's even nicer than I remember it being. Okay, now we are coming up on the Red Barn gift shop. We're going to get out and go in there. And uh, I know we featured this last year. We just really were not satisfied with the quality of the video last year, so we wanted to hopefully bring a better one this time. And we're going to go inside again, and I'm going to show you around the craft store or the Red Barn gift shop. A little bit of everything in there. It's kind of hard to even describe what all they got, so I'll just show you instead. See what kind of goodies we can find. <clears throat> I get yellow tree there. Yeah, that's nice. We're entering into Toyland now. And I do see the barn. And up here at the barn, even on the outside, they've got a, a little fire pit where you can roast marshmallows. Now, just a word of caution, uh, don't bring your own marshmallows in. We, we tried that once. Uh, they they take a dim view of that. That's, that's been a couple of years. Well, it's been years. a long time. <laughs> we came with some friends Probably and they had kids. Years. We just got the bright idea. They don't give you but like tw what, two marshmallows two. or three on a stick. Yeah, and it's like we thought, it's well, like we'll just we bring get, our own bag. We get a whole bag for that and split it. And, the guy walked over and told us we can't be doing that. <laughs> he, he said something about bringing your marshmallows don't pay for that fire. I said, well, I thought the admission charge did. <laughs> but, you know, anyhow, you can kind of see people over to the right, uh, the little fire out there. And they got a little stand where you can order, um, I guess, hot chocolate drinks. They used to sell Russian tea there. They haven't sold that in a long time. Now, I love Russian tea. I need to make some. Yes, you, you certainly do. Um, Russian tea is a wonderful, wonderful. How do you make it again? Tang. Tang and instant tea. And clo do you add cloves to it or something? Or, or cinnamon? A cinnamon. I think you boil it with a cinnamon stick. I need to find my recipe. But they used to sell it there. This place is called S'moresville. I didn't remember that. Well, now that I see it, I remember that. I yeah. like, like s'mores. All right, so we're getting ready to turn in. Here you got the snowman to the left saying gift shop and enter. So we're gonna pull in there and show you around. Okay, here's the entrance to the Red Barn gift shop. We're getting ready to go in there now. seen the little baked bread loaves that we got last year. That's, 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 they were right there, weren't they? That's what I thought whenever I came in. Little ciders right there. I believe that's cider. Look. Yeah, or muscadine juice. Sheep cider. Scup of all and muscadine again. Nice orna or snowflakes right here. Over here's the fudge. They, uh, we did get some fudge last year. Cappuccino fudge. They have, might as well show you what kinds they got here. A bunch. This is called Bear Creek Fudge Factory. Cappuccino latte, Rocky Road, cookie dough, strawberry cheesecake. Chocolate pecan, red velvet, peanut butter, fresh chocolate. Six dollars a tub. Sweet potato got a bread. Banana nut bread, sweet potato. Look at the size of that cinnamon sourdough. Wait, is that those new baked cookies? No. I don't know. Oatmeal. Those are just no, maybe not. I don't see my orange cranberry bread from last year. 
pineapple. What are those little fried pies? Yeah, apple. Carrot cake. Zucchini pineapple bread. Who would have thought of that? What have you found? Some type of healing herbal salve. Salve. Miracle salve. Miracle salve. Those of you who watch Andy Griffith's show, you'll understand that. Miracle salve. Do your voice. Dr. <laughs> Penn Dyke. Yeah. <laughs> Best show ever made. This is what you need now. <clears throat> Beard, Beard bomb. bomb. This thing's coming off as soon as I get permission. <laughs> so, folks, if y'all think I've been kind of looking rough lately, you're right. I think he looks very handsome. I wanted to do it one time in my life just to see what I look like, and now I don't have permission to shave it. So <laughs> I like it. We're going for the Grizzly Adams look, I guess. Yeah. Little baby bibs there. <clears throat> I've got some barbecue sauces. That one's called Outlaw. Southern Twain. I don't know what that is. It's, oh, it's mustard barbecue sauce. Pickled beets. Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> You're kidding. Hey, texting gloves. Yeah, look. What in the world? <laughs> I know, that's what I was thinking too. It's like, as cold as my hand. Oh, so they don't have fingers in them. That's no. the dumbest thing since selfie sticks that they've come out with. Wow. It's important if you got five yeah, gloves that's, like that's that. Really important. <laughs> what do we do all those years before? Right. And we've got a few little scented candles here. Okay, we found our little breads, and it looks like very limited supply this year. But there's new flavors, like here's a banana pineapple. There's a Grinch bread. I'm curious about that. What's in that? We can try some of that. What'd you, what'd you say, banana? What? Banana pineapple coconut. I'm curious about that Grinch bread. I'm going to try that. You want to split that, or you got a kind you want to get? I don't know yet. I'm not try this banana pineapple coconut. That sounds kind of tropical. So we got blueberry, cinnamon, and they have s'mores, s'mores too. lemon, poppy seed. I, I can't believe they don't have that orange print. That was good. <clears throat> banana blueberry. That sounds good too. Banana blueberry. Here's our cotton candies. They got coffee flavored, blueberry flavored, red velvet. That regular kind. Uh, this is chocolate covered. I don't. Chocolate covered cherry. Oh, okay. Salted caramel. Candy cane. Dream sickle blueberry. What's that yellow one? Pina colada flavor. Dream sickle back there. Step in this next next section. They got more stuff. Jams and jellies. A few more breads right here. I'm still determined I'm gonna find. I haven't found my orange one yet. We found some bigger loaves. There's double chocolate chip. Yeah. Well, I guess my orange one was retired, but I like that. Could be sold out. Yeah, could be. <laughs> right here, really like these. These are wooden 
places in North Carolina along the coast, Nags Head, Duck, Hatteras, Topsail. Calabash, we love eating in Calabash. A lot of good seafood options there. So our snacks for tonight, I'm going to get me a tub of the cotton candy, candy cane cotton candy, probably made in North Carolina, and you're going to try the pineapple coconut bread, and I'm going to try the Grinch bread. I have no Banana, idea. Banana, pineapple, coconut. You might be eating that Grinch bread if it's got it, stuff in it I don't like. It looks like it just has little, like, colored chips in it. So. Yeah. Some little candies here. Jolly Puffs, freeze dried candy. You, Jolly Ranchers, you eat like a cheese puff. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's it. Oh, yeah. You get hot dogs, nachos, pretzels there. Kinds of other stuff. Hello. How you doing today? Good, good. Thanks. For okay. Pulling out of the gift shop. Hope y'all enjoyed that little tour. Um, what'd you think of it this year? Oh, I love it. Back out on the road, completing the, the like coming, big snowman. Yeah, coming up on some snowmen. I don't remember this candy cane arch here, do you? Yeah, it changes colors. Well, maybe that's why I don't remember. Maybe it was a different color. Yeah, go real slow. Turn your headlights off. Oh yeah, turn headlights off. Don't need headlights. I thought last year it was like different colors, so it just there yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. I like, yeah, I think I do remember that. Yeah. So just tried my candy cane, cotton candy. Yeah, that's really good. I took a tiny little piece just to get a taste, but it did. It once it melted in your mouth, it tasted like a candy cane. Yeah, just kind of leaves that aftertaste. So I always like this locomotive up here on the side. Just... What was that? A trolley? Oh yeah, that's what it looks like. Full of reindeer. Oh, that's a that's a reindeer barn. Oh yeah. <laughs> it looked like a trolley <laughs> coming up on it. I guess we go to Gatlinburg too yeah, much. Yeah, well, that's. Hey, no, you go to Gatlinburg too much right there. You see trolleys everywhere when they're not. So the crowds have kind of lit up. It's about 10:45 now at night. We still got over an hour's drive home, and maybe another 10 minutes of going through here. Activity there on the left. Looks like the shepherds. Do you remember our first trip when we came? The boys were still so little, they were in car seats. And it was like a spur of the moment idea to come. Yeah, it was like dark when we left home. And I don't know why <laughs> we just decided to come down here. It's like we're riding through and we're like trying to wake them up. Boys, look at the lights. And they were laying there just asleep. It's like we're the ones enjoying them. Yeah. I think it was us that really wanted to come. I think it was. <laughs> when you have children, you can blame it on them and say you're doing it for the children. But, uh, they're grown and moved out, and we still come. Yeah, let's see if we can see him here. Is he moving? He ain't doing nothing. Wait, he's teeing up. He's there teeing he goes. up. There he goes. There goes the golf ball. We'll watch him do it one more time. You can actually pull off to the side right here. Once he hits it, I'll pull out. He's thinking about it. See, that's why I don't like golf. It takes too long. <laughs> All right, there there goes the golf ball. It's like a meteorite. <laughs> <clears throat> Whoa! 
wonder how they sink the lots to do that. Uh, if I told you everything, you would never learn on your own. So. Uh, that's true. It'd be good for you to research when you get home. Yeah. I'm still thinking about it then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where does it actually stop at? What, the golf ball? Yeah. Uh, probably where the last light in the strand is. Yeah, I'll just try to see if I can. So right up here is the what, North Pole Forest. Yeah. And that's pretty neat to see. So why don't you take the camera off of the mount and get it out the side window. There's the North Pole. Here's the one year we came down here and there was about seven inches of snow on the ground. Yeah, that made it really yeah, pretty, it seeing all the yeah. lights on the snow. Like a North Pole setting. Yeah. So we're going to North Pole by The cannon. There we go. All the soldiers. Here's another that changes colors. Yeah. Green and red going on now. Looks like we're nearing the end. Yeah, I like the red and green. I like yeah. that. I like going through things like this. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. Hope you all enjoyed this uh, video, this ride through Tanglewood Park in Clemens, North Carolina. If you're interested in coming here, uh, it's just a little bit west of the city of Winston-Salem. Get off exit 184 off of Interstate 40. There's signs telling you, yeah, yeah. you know, guiding you along. Turn on headlights. And it, Eat at Me Pueblo Mexican Restaurant, tell them the M NC Memory Maker sent you by. And they'll look at you like you're a nut because they don't know who we are. <laughs> so that won't get that won't get you any discount of any kind, I promise you. But, They'll be like, okay. Yeah, just, but you can tell them that we did a review um, of them a year ago. We didn't do another video tonight because I got the same thing I got last year and it was just as good. So I get different things, but their food's always good. Yeah, what'd you get tonight? It looked like a dessert. It looked like it had like chocolate. It was grizzles. some type of burrito. I don't remember what it was called, but it had like some type of I don't want to say what kind of sauce because I don't know how to pronounce it, but it was like a, a Well how's it spell? It was a is either A B or A D O B something or another. Adobe? I don't know if it was that or something similar, but it was like a fiery sweet. It was red and white sauce. I don't know, but it was good. I had looked at it on the menu. What was inside of it? Beef? No, it was chicken and black beans and then whatever they're cooked and whatever kind of sauce that was. It was so you give good. that a thumbs up. Oh, definitely. Okay, I, I just got the fajita nachos with steak again, like mm -hmm. the same I got last year. And uh, anyway, again, had a good evening. I uh, got yeah. to eat with um, Brother in Christ and also one of our subscribers and friends on Facebook, uh, mm -hmm. Tony. Got to meet him for the first time tonight. That was kind of fun to explain to the girls at the uh, counter. He, he messaged me. We were still on our way. And since he just lives in Winston-Salem, he got there before we did. So he messages me on uh, Facebook and uh, said, do you want me to go in and see what the wait time is and see about And I said, yeah, go ahead and go put our names in. Somehow or another message didn't go through. We didn't know that. So we assume he, we go in. We don't see anybody that comes up to us. We didn't know what he looked like, really. Uh, and... <laughs> So we asked the girls, the hostess there waiting to see people, asked if there was a, a guy that um, told we were meeting somebody there and that we, he was already there, had they seated him? She says, well, we don't know. You want to go look around and see if you see him? I said, well, I'll be honest with you, we ain't never met him before. We don't you know, really know what he looks like except for his profile picture. And she just looked at us like we were weird. Um, but uh, anyway, we did meet up with him. So Had a good time. We did. Ha heading home now. You got any final thoughts on Tanglewood you want to uh, share? I love Tanglewood. I mean, it's something we started years and years ago when the boys were little, but it's just become like one of our Christmas traditions and, you know, going out to eat and, you know, the we, Christmas lights. I really enjoy it. One thing about us, uh, we've been doing this long before we started doing videos. 
we are uh, traditionalist in a lot of ways. There are some things that we do every year, places we go. And I told her, I said, if we're going to keep putting out videos, we got to do some different stuff once in a while. Um, like, the thing about Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge, you need three lifetimes to try every restaurant up there. So there, we're still good on That's restaurants good. for a long time there. Uh, but like when we go to Florida, we go to the same places for the most part. Well, we do try to eat different places, different yeah. activities. And there's a, there's can always be something different. Yeah, but. But there's some places we just like so well when we're in the area, we have to go. Calabash, same thing. We have our seafood restaurants there we go to. Um, and of course, you know, and when we go down to Florida, we have to eat at Starfish Company. That's our favorite seafood yeah. place. I'm not ever going to go in that area and not eat there. Yeah, it'd be a shame not to. Yeah. But anyway. Traditions are good. Yep. Makes memories. Thank you all for watching. And like and subscribe if you haven't already. And find us on Facebook. All right. Everybody have a blessed evening and a Merry Christmas and safe travels. Spend time with your family and uh, just treasure every moment. Absolutely. Because you never know. Um, so anyway, y'all have a good night.